And we have got WLWT's Richard Childs live in Bond Hill for the visitation for Leslie Isaiah Gaines happening now. Hey, Richard. Jonathan, good morning. You know, you talk about the wide array of folks here celebrating the life of Judge Gaines. Joining me this morning, State Representative Dale Mallory. Representative Mallory, you talk about big shoes to fill, and of course, you know that personally. Judge Gaines certainly leaves that type of legacy. Yes, he does. He was a, um, a giant physically, and, um, and to the neighborhood, he was a giant. He was, he was a guy who could motivate you. He would, he would motivate you to the point that you would, you would examine yourself and say, you know what? Am I living up to what he would expect me to be from what he told me? You know, that expectation of living up to what you're supposed to be. Of course, your father was very instrumental in creating the district that judge was able to uh, sit on that bench. After the, the seven years of my father's lawsuit with Hamilton County to elect judges in the first district, they created two judgeships in a Democratic district, predominantly Democratic, predominantly African American. And at that time, uh, William Jr., my brother, and uh, Judge Gaines were both appointed. So you had Judge Gaines and Judge Mallory. And, and when they walked away from, from that arrangement, everybody was happy. The community was happy. It worked. You had a Republican and a Democrat working hand in hand at the first level of engagement in the court system. Folks working together hand in hand, certainly a big part of Judge Leslie Isaiah's Gaines' message and legacy, one that is being celebrated here today. Jonathan.